Hi everybody, this is Roxy and I just wanted to share some cards um, that I've made for the holidays, for Christmas especially, of course. Um, this is our um, invitation I made for our, um, our neighborhood Christmas party that we have every year. And I found this stamp at Hobby Lobby and then I just used a Kaleidacolor stamp pad and these colors and stamped it and then I just took my paper punches I did a um, video on this so you can see I bought I had some Yeezy paper pub Yeezy craft paper punches and they came in circles a circle heart and a star so I used two circles and a heart to make little ornaments and these are just my envelope full of scrap paper from every Christmas for the last how many years. Um, then I found this EK Success Bow. I think it was at Michael's. And I just made little bows and drew strings. And then took a colored pen. I think it was a, my paper mate. And just drew lines around. And I broke up the lines where things kind of would have touched. So that it didn't get muddy. And it kind of gives a little more movement to it to the card like you know especially with the strings like they're kind of just swaying in the breeze and then I just um, printed all the incidentals inside not on this one though so then um, I've been making lots of I am I had a few about four um, orders for Christmas cards this year so one wanted um, a Christmas tree so I did this one and made this card front like I would mat this onto a card or whatever um, and this is a stamp that I have I don't remember yeah all my stamps are put away I can't remember whose stamp that is but you can use any kind of Christmas or sentiment stamp and then I just added some Heidi Swap gold and I think this is, yeah, that's some stinky Stella on the bulbs and the star. Otherwise I, um, you know, tapped the Heidi Swap nozzle to make it a little glittery. And this is the original of that. So my printer, I wish it was, like, more vibrant. I don't know if I got to get a new My printer wasn't cheap, so, I mean, I think it's, for a home printer, I think it's about the best that I can afford and it's not bad you do lose some of the fun brighter colors you know and then I just with this I just this black is a my black Stabilo pen that I just went over and be careful with those because they are um, they are not waterproof they're water soluble so that would have been that card but then I thought I'd make a fancier card <coughs> more uh, outdoor evergreen so I painted this this was really fun to paint very loose just kind of give the idea of trees and you know kind of a winter sky at least that's a winter sky here it's it starts to get overcast in about August until you know like June or July <laughs> here up in Minnesota so, and then this is just kind of using that, <clears throat> excuse me, um, W plus 9, I can't remember her name, but I love her watercoloring videos. She did a Christmas ornament one, I think last year or two years ago, where it kind of, the water, she, some of the water kind of spilled outside of the ornament. And, you know, so then the paint followed that. And she left it, because then she said she put it on Instagram, and people were like, how did you do that technique? It's really cool. Um, so look for that video because if you're gonna, if you're interested in doing watercolor, which I I would say if you're crafty at all, you can do watercolor. Just watch these experts on video on here on YouTube and just go to town. So that's that one, and then that I printed off, and I think the. You know, I do. You lose some of the color, but I think it printed off nicely. And then I kind of, instead of the Heidi swap, I kind of 
tap the Stinky Stella clear pin on here. Or was it the, the silver one? And then I, I think, I'm not sure who's... Wait, I do know who's it. I think it's... um. CDs. You remember those CDs stamp sets? I think it's that one. That's a really nice, I think that's a really pretty font, those two fonts together. And that's got to be eight years old, this stamp. So, very pretty. I think that turned out nice. And then I just used, um, this paper is from that new Llama paper pad, both of these back here. They're just kind of geometric, but I really want, you know, I just needed the color. And then inside, I love this. This is from Paper Tray Ink. I love this sentiment. It's so pretty. Isn't that, I think that's a song. Anyways. All right, so then I made this guy. I didn't show a video painting all these because I wasn't sure how they were going to turn out. But I think they turned out kind of cute. So that's, I'm going to, um, I made thank you cards for my birthday party. And then I um, just wrote dear friends, D-E-R friends. But I think I might do that, like do a lawn fawn alphabet and put it together for dear friends. Stamp it down here. And then I kind of want to make, um, for these, I want to make printed Christmas cards to sell as sets next year. So I think I'll, um, because the, the one on, one on, you know, the one off cards, they're expensive to make and do, and you just can't get the price for them. So I thought if I could just make one and print them off in a really nice, like this paper is not the best quality. It's, um, oh, I put that on the back. There is a warm and snuggly place where my heart keeps thoughts of you. I think that's anchor dang Um... <clears throat> This is uh, Office Max 110 pound paper. It's not the 110 pound Nina we know or the um, like Gina K paper. So I think if I get a better paper, my printing will be better too. So that's my goal um, by Christmas because I want to print off my own carts. So there's my little vignette. You know, I, I painted all these guys and then. Um, I just kind of made a birch tree and, you know, snowy hill. And then I really enjoy, I really love how the sky turned out. I just did some purples and blues kind of for a wintry, um, you know, pretty sky. And then I added deer and all his friends and some clouds. So there's that. And then this is the one I just did a video on. I really like how it turned out. I'm kind of real happy about it. And this was so easy. You can do this. Anybody can do this if I can do it. It's so easy and it's really uh, enjoyable. Watercoloring, it's very forgiving because if you kind of make a blooper a mistake, it either adds to your piece or you can just water it down and dab it with a dry towel or something and it'll take most of your mistake away. But um, I think some of the mistakes, i.e. this one down here, I think that add, really added to it. Very nice. I like that. Um, and that was like a big mistake. What happened was I had a little bit of water here and it just kind of started. And I thought, oh heck, I might as well go with it. So I wet down a bigger area and then added a couple blips of colors, different colors that I didn't use up here, like this um, burnt sienna and stuff, or I don't know what color it is. I gotta learn my colors, but that color. <laughs> so there's that. And then <clears throat> uh, Stampin' Up! had a stamp like this a couple years ago, and I had the set, and then I sold the set, but when I sold it, I couldn't find that stamp, and I have yet to find it, to find it, because I think it probably got stuck to something that got thrown away but the person body bodying it buying it understood that I had lost it and I said if I ever find it I'll send it but I never found it so I remembered it though because it was it wasn't this it wasn't exactly these fonts but that idea so I I put I pulled my wreath on in into my silhouette 
created that stamp, so to speak, and then <clears throat> this was a stamp. It's in my, I show it in my video that I'm painting this. This is a stamp that I have, but it was too big because I first was going to do a 5x7 card. Don't mind that. But it's almost like, I don't know, I, I might go to the 5x7, I don't know. Because it really is a little more powerful, you know. Mm, Scorby and I haven't decided yet. But for the this size card, the, the stamp never would have fit. So I just made my own on the silhouette. I found this image in my library, and it's a cut image, so I just um, colored each thing, like the berries, the leaf, and the pine cone, and then grouped it together and put it down here. Where this one, I was farting around with the, if I wanted to do black type, and I accidentally changed that, so, but I just printed it off for visual. Blah, blah, blah. So on these, this wreath, where is it, this wreath, one of these wreaths are not the same. I enlarged the wreath a bit, yeah, it's this one. That's a little bit bigger, I think, isn't it? <laughs> Anyways, I did enlarge it somewhere. Here, this one. But that's got the weird black. See, I enlarged it, that's too big. So then, but there was one of them. Oh, see, now that's crazy, isn't it? Anyways. It's a little bigger somewhere. <laughs> I might not have that here. Anyways, I'm sorry, I'm going crazy. So that's, um, these are going to be some Christmas cards. Sorry. That I print off and sell as sets. Like I would print off 12 of the cards and sell it as a set with envelopes next year. Um, so then, and then while we're here, I thought I'd just go through my little, because I want to make note cards out of aprons, apron drawings that I do. So here's these. And yeah, I haven't colored these in because I used the, stupidly used a non waterproof pen when I went over it. So I'll have to print it off onto water. I think this is watercolor paper. So I'll have to print it off and then color it in. I was, what actually what I really want to do is turn these into stamps so that anybody can have you know, stamp them and color them the way you want. I'm still working on that. I don't know how you go about it. I love that one. And then here's some recipe cards from my vintage stash that I kind of want to um, work on doing something like that. I better see what I got here. And then this is these are stamps that I have that I made clusters. I was just practicing. This is when I first was watercoloring. So these are actually st stamps in my stash. Here's a little fox I drew one day. <clears throat> this is kind of, I kind of segued into my fun book. Okay, there's one. See, this is where the pen, I, I tried to stay a, away from the pens and it worked okay. Except for a couple of spots. There's that. This is this mouse is a Unity stamp, and then I just um, added his little house, and you know the wall behind him in a um, flooring, and drew that in. I used uh, that same darn water soluble pen. And then here's stamps. I think these are Unity stamps. The books. And then, and then I added a tablecloth and table. Just practicing. That's owl stamp is unity. I added his tree. Just having fun. And then some more stamps I haven't done anything with. I was just drawing some. 
kitchen things that I might want to make stamps out of. Perspective. There's a slow cooker, my old slow cooker. Here's another apron. Another apron. Another apron. Another apron. I have my favorite apron. I redid that. Drew that out again because I want to, um, like I said, I don't want to use the, I got to use a waterproof pen to outline it. So a lot of these I've, I re-sketched. And then some Fiesta Wear Bowls. So just kind of a fun an old bowl. And then this is Mary and Joseph on their way to Bethlehem. And you know, I've always seen, like whenever you see that image, they're, you know, Mary's always kind of sitting up and I just think, you know, she was so pregnant, I would think she'd be in so much pain and exhaustion. So I kind of drew her more like trying to bear the pain. And while she's going, she's braiding the donkey's hair because it's trying to keep her mind off what you know, the pain and... So this is something I would like to outline in black, but I'm kind of nervous about it. Um, it took me a little while, probably a few hours to draw that, but I do like how it turned out. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. And then this is just my friend Betsy was over and we were doing some watercolor in her journal. And that's a stream stamp. What is that? Um... Those silly little kids is the company name. You know, Anya. I can't remember what it's called. That's where these images come from. And that's a self portrait of me at the Heart Dreamboat Annie concert. Oh my god, that was an awesome concert. And then another little self portrait. And then. That's a picture, my favorite picture of Bill with this little Dalmatian chipper. But it doesn't look like anything like Bill. It looks like one of our nephews. And that's it for that. So I went from Christmas cards to aprons. and. But anyways, so I'm hoping that you're making your Christmas cards this year. I do them every year. This is the first year I painted, so I hope um, that they are well received. Uh, I did already send this order out, and she loved it, so that's a good plus. And people have gotten this, and I've heard great comments about that, too. So, anyways, not that that's why I do it, but it always is nice to hear. So, thanks for watching, and Happy Thanksgiving, and Merry Christmas. <laughs>